Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'll go over how to download your undated planner onto your device, how to import it into your app of choice, how to navigate the planner and how it's set up, how to add pages, how to use the stickers that came with your planner and more. Now this video is really important for the undated planner because it is a build as you go planner. Our new planner features new colorways to choose from, an updated design, new template pages, new notes tab for easier access, including new templates for those two, new GoodNotes tape tool patterns, more stickers, improved navigation for the section pages, and more. Feel free to skip through the timestamps to get to a particular section of the video and feel free to adjust the speed of this video as needed. Now I'll be demonstrating everything on my iPad using the app GoodNotes. Our planners are PDF templates with hyperlinks throughout the planner, so this will work on any device and app that allows you to edit PDFs and click on hyperlinks. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started by downloading your digital files onto your device. So first, make sure you already have GoodNotes or your preferred note-taking app and the Files app installed. When you click the download link in your email, you'll be taken to our Send Owl page. Now you have five downloads available. After you click download, it might feel like nothing's happening, but don't keep clicking. The file is downloading in the background. You can check the top right corner of your screen or go ahead and head to your Files app and your Downloads folder to find it. Now pro tip, save the file to a cloud storage app like iCloud or Dropbox so you can access it across all your devices or to just keep handy so you never lose it. Now this is essential, especially for the undated planner. That way you can keep reusing it each year. Okay, now this is important. You'll need to unzip your file before you can use it. So just tap the zip file or long press and select uncompress. Inside, you'll find a README file with all of these steps written out in case you need a refresher later on. Okay, now whichever day you want your planner to start, whether that is Sunday or Monday, you can go ahead and click on that. Tap the share icon and then select open in GoodNotes or the GoodNotes icon. Then just import as new document. Alternatively, you can also open GoodNotes or your note-taking app of choice directly and use their import feature. Okay, now you have your planner in your app. Now, while we're here, let's talk about navigating through your planner. So you can swipe or scroll through the pages of your planner, but the easiest way to navigate it is to click on the hyperlinks or the tabs in your planner. So to activate these, you can either click here to turn off edit mode and turn on read only mode. Or in GoodNotes, you can actually just click on these using your finger as long as you're not using the lasso, photo, or text tool. If you're using a different app, you'll just need to find out how to click on hyperlinks in that specific app. There might be a hand or a cursor tool, or you might be able to just use your finger here as well. So these tabs on the side are all hyperlinked to their corresponding monthly layout and many pages include clickable arrow icons or clickable dates. So how the planner is set up. First of all, there is a digital guide page at the beginning of your planner that explains how the planner works and answers our most frequently asked questions. If you navigate over to the index page, this basically lays out every section and page in your planner and it's all hyperlinked, so go here if you ever get lost. So you'll start with the intro pages designed to help you set your intentions and goals for the year, which help you determine like how you want to plan out your time throughout the planner. From there, you'll move into the monthly, weekly, and daily layouts. Now this part is really important to understand. So for the undated planner, each side tab will take you straight to that month's section. Inside each month, You'll find one blank monthly layout, one blank weekly layout, and one blank daily layout. Now these are template pages so that you can duplicate these as many times as you need. That way, if you skip a week or a day, you don't have to scroll through unused pages. It keeps your planner clean and flexible. Because of this setup though, these pages aren't hyperlinked. So if you prefer a planner that's fully built out and hyperlinked for planning ahead, You'll probably want to check out our dated 2026 planner instead. All right, so for example, let's say I wanted to plan out this week. So I'd copy this page 
and then paste it at the end of this month's templates and go ahead and start planning. Then let's say I don't want to plan out my day. Maybe I want to plan out next week. So I would just duplicate this page. I can start and stop whenever I want. So again, maybe I want to start like a whole different day at the end of the month. I can just copy the daily layout and paste it here. This way, there's still some semblance of organization because I'll know that everything I plan under this tab is for this month. You'll notice these three small icons that appear throughout these pages. So these give you quick access to your monthly goals, monthly wellness, and monthly reflection pages to help you check in throughout the month. Now, you can also find these pages under the quarters tab. Speaking of the quarters tab, the quarter overview allows you to plan out your goals and track your habits through a quarter lens. This is perfect for anyone who's into the 12 week year or just wants a quick view of their year through the quarter system. And then you have so many different template pages to choose from to help you organize different facets of your life or just help support you in your day to day life. These are here for you to duplicate and insert wherever you want in your planner. We have 16 new templates here. And in a second, I'll show you just how to duplicate and organize these pages. Now you also get note templates if you want a little more freedom in writing throughout your planner. We have two new templates here. And as you can see, we added this new notes tab for quick and easy access to those. Okay, so to help you organize the pages added to your planner though, you have these section pages for quick and easy access. And you would treat these like binders in a divider essentially and just copy and paste those templates or any page you want really between these. Okay, so to add a template page or any page of the planner in GoodNotes, just tap the three dots in the top right corner and then click copy page. Navigate to where you want to add it, tap the plus icon and click paste page. Now to quickly duplicate the page that you're already currently on, you can just click the plus icon and then click current template. Now this is how you'll bring any of the templates from the back of your planner into let's say your like weekly or daily layouts or any part of the planner. And then as I mentioned, you can just add those pages to a specific section. We added hyperlinks for you to quickly and easily jump to different section pages. So let's say I wanted to take this page and plan out a life audit for this year. I would just copy this page and then I would just navigate to the sections index and label this, go to that section and I would paste the page here. And then to make it even easier, I don't like rewriting stuff. So I would just copy this title I paste it into the section page itself and then go into the index page and actually paste it here too. That way, anytime I want to look for like a 2026 template page layout that I added, I can just click here or in the sections pages. Now let's go ahead and set up your calendars and reminder shortcut. So inside your planner, navigate to the digital guide page and click this button. Tap set up shortcut. Then select your note taking app and tap add shortcut. If you're using Apple calendar or the Apple reminders app, just tap on the Apple icon tab. It'll prompt you to create a new event in your Apple calendar or add a task to your reminders app. And if you're using Google calendar, just tap the Google icon instead. Moving on to the cover. So if you would like to change your planner cover, We've included 38 of our previously released covers plus 15 new designs. So to switch your planner cover, I like to use split view with the files app here. And then just drag and drop your favorite design over their existing one in your planner. If that feature isn't available to you, just tap the share icon, click copy, and then paste it into your planner using the lasso tool. All right, lastly, let's talk stickers. So head back to your files app and open the accessories folder. And let's start with the exclusive sticker pack. In here, we have the exclusive sticker pack and then stickers to match our tranquil hues and lavender dream colorways. So let's start with the exclusive sticker pack. If you're using GoodNotes, go ahead and click on the GoodNotes folder. 
Now you have the option between importing this as a GoodNote sticker pack book like file or as a collection in the elements tool. If you want to import it as a sticker pack in GoodNotes, click on the dot GoodNotes file. Sometimes it's easier to change the view here so that I can see the full title and then do the same process as you would have with the planner. So click the share icon, then either open in GoodNotes or the GoodNotes icon, import as new document. This way you can flip through your stickers and just use the lasso tool to copy and paste them into your planner. If you want to import them as dot collection files in your elements tool to use directly, you'll see that there's a folder for each type of stickers. This is useful for a lot of these stickers because they allow you to basically customize your planner so they're resized to perfectly fit the planner. For example, the time slot covers. Okay, since you're going to repeat this process for every collection folder and file, I like to use split view and then just click your elements tool in GoodNotes, tap anywhere on the page and swipe down to this plus symbol. Now you can just drag and drop the dot collection file and click create and just repeat this process. Now, whenever you want to insert one of these stickers, just click the elements tool, tap the page, then click on the sticker you want to add. All right, now this is new. So we now have GoodNotes tape tool patterns. So click your tape tool, click the plus symbol and click upload from files and go through and find your patterns. And now you can create your own washi tape all throughout the planner. Now, if you're using an app other than GoodNotes, open the non GoodNotes folder. All stickers are included as PNG files and have their own individual folder for easy identification. I again, like using split view with my note taking app of choice and the files app open so I can just drag and drop these straight into my planner. And that's it. You're all set up and ready to start planning your best year yet. If you'd like to see a full walkthrough of how the planner flows and more about all the new features for 2026, stay tuned for our best digital planner of 2026 video. Thanks so much for watching and happy planning.